of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good. Thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really, the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information. Information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner, primary breadwinner for my family, and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. So TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 156, Nasdaq's off 45, S&P's down 16. Gold, gold contract trading flat, 2,336 an ounce. We have silver up 18 cents, $29.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude, down 43 cents, $81.31 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down nine ticks, trading 109.30, the 30-year up full point at 118.09 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading. Whoa, don't do that. Yeah, when I do this. <laughs> Did I just do it? There we go. Excuse me. King Dollar trading down 33 ticks at 105.874. Euro at 107. Yen 160. British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Let's get over to the NQs. My take, folks, NQ. All these markets are coming into the low. You're going to break the low. We're going to sell right into the close. I'm saying that quick just in case you want to be doing something with this market. Now let's bring it up. We're going to bring it up. It's going into them right now. So the spread so far on the Qs, well, on the uh, NQs, the high was 20,273. And right now, the, the low that's established, 19,985. That's a high volume low. We're coming into it. What do we got here? Okay, so so we're going to start um, a new ten minute bar as we're coming into the low. That your probability gets pretty high that you're going to blow this thing away. Let's go look at the ES, particularly when you get a failure like we had out here today. You had the, the market run run right at, right out of the gate too. And then the market tested the high. The first bow, show you this first bow is pretty intense, man. ES. What I mean by that, the first bow on the 9.30 open, not, you know, when the future open, 9.30 open. Okay, so, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, the Nasdaq's going to blow this thing away, man. The E-mini the e already did. So the E-mini, that, that number there was 5535. Five. You're five points below it already. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Hold on one second. Is that 35,000? Okay, well, we need 36,000 for confirmed ABC down. You're going to get it, though, man. This is going to be a trip coming into the close. Let's go back to the NQs for a second. NQ. NQ wants to hang tough, but you can see you get a little expansion. We haven't hit the lows yet. We're going to go after them. We're at uh, 1995. It's uh, 85. So it's 10 points lower inside the NQs. Gold. Let's go to the gold market. Take a look at gold. With gold out here now. Gold got to a price point. Yeah, this is, this is still telling me gold's going lower. Okay. Because you went higher today. You had lighter volume. 
You failed the whole price. You got, yep. So you got to 23.50. It's 23.36. You got over the highs of yesterday, over the highs of the last couple of days, couldn't hold price. That's saying we're going to be right back downtown again. And then let's go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the TYA. Inside the note and bond market, we got to on the ten year. You you got to one ten sixteen. We're at one oh nine twenty nine. You had two point two million contracts. Now this gets interesting because that's good contract volume. The problem is is that it couldn't hold price. Let me just pull this up again. Let's see. Yeah, you couldn't hold price. And then we get into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. So dollar basically had a sideways move out here today. That's how the dollar's shaking out. Dollar, you know, 105, 867. My take this dollar wants to go to that 107, folks, okay? And it will, it is, when it breaks the 107, you can go a lot higher. Some of the higher volume equities out here today that we're looking at. You get Nvidia's flat. You get uh, oh Nike. What a trip this is. Nike's down nineteen dollars, man. I, that's this is Nike hasn't dropped that much in twenty one years. Twenty one years. You talk about uh, wow. It, it, that just shows that you can have an amazing brand. I mean, and if you don't stay on it, I guess you got to stay on it every day. I mean, when they were talking about you know these other sneaker companies that are. At all these running shows, I know they heard a couple of these other sneaker companies, but the bottom line is that they they are taking juice out of Nike. Was, that's how it's working. Advanced Micro is up two thirty. You got uh, let's see what else is out here. And bottom line, what this market's going to do now, folks? This market's going to be <laughs> this market is going to be looking at what. It's going to be looking at inflation. It's going to be looking at how much the debt is. That disaster last night of <laughs> the debate. I mean, you know, unless the Democrats get someone else in there, this this election's over, man. <laughs> it's not even close. And the bottom line is, is that the market itself is now. We, this is what you got to you got to think this through. You got to think about the bonds. Think about the dollar. I think about inflation, because the bottom line is that things probably will loosen up. Um, that's, where the, that's where this market's going to go right now, about how much money we're going to spend, what are the tariffs going to be, what are all the above, and we'll see whether, uh, you know, Biden gives up the ghost and says, okay, I'm going to retire right now, and someone else comes in, because if they don't, that's going to be, forget it. <laughs> it's not even a contest. Dow. Dow's down 158. Nasdaq's up 54. S&P's down 17. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's off 165. Nasdaq's down 45. S&P's are down 16. Let's go to our man, Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy. It's beautiful here today. You go out in a T-shirt and shorts. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. You better look, up, look out your doorway there and look at all those lobster pots and get a little lobster later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Hey, I got a question for you before we go to the stock. Yes. Uh you are so adamant about this 107 uh, target on the dollar. Right. I'm looking at the dollar chart, and, I'm, you know, there's no volume to go by. Right. I'm just wondering why. What is it about the chart? What detail that, that tells you it's going to 107? So, yeah, if, if I, I get the chart up, right? First off, that, yep. those are your swings, okay, the, the 107s at the highs, okay? Now watch well, there's this. There's a couple of swings at one. There's a couple at 106 in April. Yeah, you got 106.517, and you got 106.490. <clears throat> That's on yeah. the six month. Now watch this. I'm gonna take this, and then just lay it out on a longer term basis, and you're gonna see where this thing shakes out. We take that. Then what you're gonna see, right there, I think it's 107.500 or something. 107, yeah, 348. Yeah. So two different yeah. things happen here, Frank, right? Because I'm going to put this back to a daily again. Because there's the daily. And because what had happened is that, now I'm going to put this here so you can see this. Because we, this was a battle. The, the, this is on a daily now, okay? If you want, look at this, this, this is a daily dollar, folks. Yeah. And what happened is that, you know, it got up to that 106,500. Yeah, 106,500. And every single time that it went down, now, now, see this big bar right here, the big bar on July, no, April 10th. Well, that's a huge sign of strength. Yep. So yep. you have the sign of strength, you come back into it, and that sign of strength, it went right into it, and it never got to the bottom of it, and it just kept fighting, and then it won. And because we came off the, the low again on the s June 7th with another sign of strength. So it's just like, hey, yeah. man, I'm, I'm just, you're hearing me just going swing to swing, Frank, more than anything. You see what I'm saying? But that battle line okay. there, the dollar one, that's, that's how, you know, it's set up. So, okay. And so now the second part of that would be that 
the commodities, gold, silver, had a great run. Um, you know, I, by no means this is run's not over. I'm not saying that. But I think we're still going right. to take a hit. And even if we look, you know, I know you want to look at Southern Copper. And yeah. the same type of deal there. I mean, I wouldn't be buying this just yet. Because if this dollar goes where I think it's going to go, the rest of these commodities are going to get hit too. Sure, you know? sure. All right. So, well, that's but it, it's... what I need to know on that. On oh, wait, listen, man. Southern it's... It, it, <sighs> This is a, number one, it's not that it's a hard call to make, but because I sold so many golds, I'm still a little flipped out, you know what I mean? It's like, not flipped out, oh, but it's yeah, like, yeah. you know, okay, we made good money, but the reality is we know how this goes. If I'm wrong and gold goes and the dollar doesn't go, the first day that gold goes, it'll go up 10 or 20%, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. It's hanging right at that spot that, you know, it definitely could go either way. There's no doubt about that. So. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, All right, guy. Thanks a million. Thanks, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a All safe right. one. <laughs> so <clears throat> what happens in, in something like this, folks, when you take your probability of when you're, when you're looking at anything, The probability that I see is that there's more probability, number one, that you're going to go to the 107. There's more probability that gold and silver is going to get hit. We're in, we're in positions. I cleaned the positions. Why? Because it's big money. So, you know, in that particular case, my take is that, you know, if it goes without me, goes without me. What can I do, man? If it doesn't, and we get the pullback, thank you, God. <laughs> it's, 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 it's all in all a tough one at this point. That's the bottom line. But the more that <clears throat> when you look at the rest of the world, you know, and you look at their currencies, we still have the best currency. There's, there's, no, there's no doubt about it. It's not even close. So, and then, you know, you look at the bond market. The bond market is saying still that bonds want lower price, higher yield. And if that's what we get, you're going to get a higher dollar. And what that's going to be all about, it's going to be all about that we're not going to stop spending money and we're going to have to keep borrowing money. And we know that as a reserve currency, you know, the good old, you know, hatchet man hasn't come after us yet. Because the bottom line is, is that, as I said a little bit earlier, the rest of the world is, you know, in worse shape currency-wise. I mean, do you, you want to own another currency? I don't think so. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, we go look at the euro. The euro has <clears throat> a couple swings, <clears throat> and then you're at um, under power again. You know, I mean, the, first, the next stop in the euro is going to be 106, we're at 107. After that, we bring this up, what you're going to see is that, you know, is that it right there? 104. So one, if you break the 104, then guess what? The bottom of that is 97, 95, actually. 95. So we certainly can take our dollars and go around the world and have a good time, though. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. That's kind of how... This whole thing is shaking out right now. And we'll see where it shakes out. That's, that's what it comes down to. Small caps. Let's look at the small caps out here. Those have been a disaster for so long. That's insane. What you had out here today, they come in, they get up, the IWM gets up to 204.63 or 201.90. There's nothing here, man. All you did out here, you know, you, you went up into a High volume day, you went up to 43 million shares, you're doing 22 and it couldn't hold price. It goes right into it. What is the bottom of that? Yeah, 201.16. We're at 201.97 right now. It gets into that bar, that's when the day gapped up, gave it up. We come into it, couldn't hold price. Well, actually, it's two bars. Oh, look at this. Hey, this is cool, man. Look at this. See that one right there, too? This is a double banger, man. Someone's selling this like beyond belief. See that? 
That was the downdraft. Made it back. Another downdraft. Today, they didn't even wait. They just sold the heck out of it, period. Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Where are you? Dow's uh, down 141. Nasdaq's up 53. S&P's down 16. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LarryJune24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 122. Nasdaq's off 65. S&P's are down 16 and a half. Let's go into the uh, E-mini again. It's awesome, too, that you, one of the tigers, you close those puts. I was just going to show you here. 
that especially when an end of day of puts uh, the one day if you trade in the one day options folks it is well worth it to take this money right now and this is why see that okay and i expect lower price but this is what ends up happening when you have options see this bar right here the last time that we had volume on the way down right now is five five three three and we're at five five two four well here's the here's the leg <laughs> but anyway that you did the right thing there, man, taking your bread. <clears throat> because the, the bottom line is that that could have popped up in two seconds. Now, we're getting the opposite. There's only one minute in the deal. So I suspect what just happened, let me go to the NQs. The NQs, the NQs were holding up the E-mini. So they probably just broke the low. There you go. Yeah, they did. Okay, so... Now what you have, let me see here. So you got two minutes into it. You're going to probably have a big ABC down. Let's see what that would be. That would be 130. Let's do this. 2, 2, 2, 2, 130. 21, 30. Nineteen nine eighty five. So it's one hundred and forty A to B minus two hundred seventy one. Nineteen nine twenty six. So the ABC down is nineteen nine twenty six on the Qs, not on the NQs. And we go to the E mini. It's going to be an ABC down too. Yep. So this one here, what do we got here? What is that? Five, five, six, four. Minus five, five, three, five. It's only twenty nine A to B. Minus Five five two two. We're already there. So it's already done the ABC down. This is we're gonna have a real correction now, folks. This is <laughs> the, to me, this is the real deal. Because you get a, a total failure at highs. And particularly we get we get enough time here, man. We get plenty of time for the NQs to be down like two hundred and the S P to be down fifty. Because once you see something like this, yeah, look at the volume is exploding. We only get four minutes. Look at this thing, man. Watch this. Yes. Yeah. See this explosion? Right there. Four minutes, and we're already at 38,000 contracts. So this is going to do, oh, man, it's, it's, it's a monster. It's gonna, they're going to, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. But I think when you look at that, well, here, let's do this. I want to look at the weekly now, too, because what's going to, no, on the week, well, let's see on the weekly how this is going to set up. Yep, on the weekly, that's going to be interesting. So last week we did 232 million. This week we did 199 going to be around the same, man. That's going to be around the same. Now, you get two dojis at the very top. That's in your spy. The Qs. Same sap in the queues. You get two dojis at the top, too. Hey, we'll see what this brings on uh, Monday morning. you got to remember, next week what you have is that, so we're opened Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the market's open to 1 o'clock, Thursday closed, Friday opened. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what, uh, what that brings. But I suspect that we're going to actually get some selling. Now, if that's what we get, um, particularly on 
on July 4th week, that's going to be very unusual. And it very well could be the beginning of a real drawdown. We'll see. Let's go see what the big dog is doing, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, look at that. <laughs> NVIDIA is flat. So that's pretty intense that NVIDIA is flat. Let's see what's moving the NASDAQ then. And the NQs, well, I see, well, nothing heavy, man. Lululemon's down 3%. Arm's down 2.5. Illumina's down 2.4. Amazon's down 2.3. It's actually not that, that's not that heavy, man. Oh, we're not down that much either, but but you can see there certainly. So out of the NASDAQ 102, you have 41 that are in the green. A few of them just by pennies. Okay, so then, yeah, the NASDAQ, yeah, the NASDAQ 100 has 102 stocks. <laughs> how do you like that? That's how the baby's set up. Platinum. Let's go to the platinum market because it was interesting. Yesterday, gold was holding. Platinum was down pretty big. So it's having a tough time. We're at 996. Yeah, the last three days we traded in the same range, 1,000 to 984. Did that three days in a row. Now, PPLT. Let's look at the ETF for it. Yeah. The well, PPLT looks pretty good, actually. Even two days ago. Two days ago, you had, when we went higher, um, that went higher with volume. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, down 141, NASDAQ is off 86, S&Ps are down 21, and uh, we're trading like old times here, man. High volatility. We had spiked down to 55.10. You're at 55.25 right now, and we'll see whether we get back down to those lows. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. 
TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's down 104, Nasdaq up 63, S&P's down 17. Let's go to our man Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Tom, uh, Biden looked like a galvanized corpse on stage last night with full-blown dementia. Get <laughs> Reach it... into your Rolodex and pull out the number for uh, that guy in California. What's his name? Gavin something. Newsom. Yep. Right. That's yeah. a, that I was. See what he's doing for the next four years. Yeah. It's, there's no doubt, man. There's no doubt. It was. That was about. Yeah. That's about as intense as you can get last night. Yep. No. There's no doubt. It was man. just painful. Painful to watch. Yep. There's no. There's yeah. Uh, for sure. And, um, you know the, the the sickest thing I think is that his advisors even decided they want an early, you know, uh, debate when they know, I mean, they're with him every day. It's like, what are you, crazy, man? Like, that, that yeah. yeah, it's anyway, so. His handlers, they should be dismissed summarily. I mean, this was really, he looked real unprepared. I mean, can you pull the microphone to your mouth at least so we can hear you? But anyway, so, Tom, just a scenario to run by you. Trump wins in November. Yeah. Inflation, inflation be damned. He doesn't care about it. Right. And that ignites the housing market. Is that too far-fetched? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. I'm trying to figure out right now. You're on the right trail, I think. But that's what, as soon as the, last night, the first thing I did, man, exactly. I, you know, I says, oh, my God, I don't believe I'm going to pull up my computer right now. But it is. I mean, you know, he's a real estate guy, right? So he knows that, you know, rates are what it's all about, right? And he wants to spend the money. Um so I would say that, yeah, that somehow these rates, you know, will go down with him in, we'll spend more money. Um, the real deal will be is, is the, does the inflation go up too much? But, you know. Okay, well, but, 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 but we both agree that Trump is not going to tolerate rates at 7%. That's he's right. He's not going to watch a floundering real estate market when he's about ego and narcissism. It's just not going to happen. No, that's great. Well, it's not going to happen also because it's, He's personally invested in it, right? I mean, you know, and yeah. yeah. And and also what is happening, okay? The commercial real estate is getting absolutely smoked. The commercial real estate, yeah. you know, Jose in Boston is down like 30%, man. I started looking at it yesterday. The 30%. Uh -huh. And <laughs> that can go further. So it's just a matter of when these, you know, some of these banks are gonna just implode. So I'm not quite sure why. You know, Powell and them waited so long, but now I bet, well, we'll see what happens, you know. Um, but, yeah, I think your take is correct. And that's, and I, and we, as investors and traders, folks, this is where you kind of want to just figure out where is your best probability and where is this going to go? Because we're only talking five months away, six months away, man. I mean, you know. Yeah. You know, and if. But it looks to me like the writing's on the wall unless Biden decides that I'm going to retire and then they can have, you know, a big brawl as to who's going to be the Democrat nominee. And then then there'll then there'll be a brawl. But there might be not enough time because the differential <laughs> in both of them was. Yeah. I mean, Trump's lying all the time. But the bottom line is that when you look at both of them, it's like, <laughs> you know, Biden can't get elected. man. It's not even close. And, well, no, I, I mean, I think it, it's a sad, sad commentary that these are our choices. 
It is. When there's plenty of youth out there yeah. in politics, I don't know why no one steps up. No, I, I agree. I know. It's, it's you know, it's... I'm going to hold my nose and put a clothespin on my nose and root for Trump, I guess. We got to get the, some real estate moving. <laughs> I right, listen, man. It's... It, it, this is quite a time to live in. I can tell you that. It's there's no there's, yeah. there's no two ways. And then the the tafts. The thing with the tafts, folks. Okay, we are paying for the tafts. Okay, this whole deal that China pays for the tafts. We pay for the tafts, man. I I don't the amount of money I pay in tafts is like insane. Okay, so that's how it goes. And and if we are going to have a real you know trading war, well. Guess what? We're all going to be paying a lot more for everything, period. So we'll see where that shakes out. We'll see, you know, if if one thing, though, I think that if you're paying attention, you better pay attention to what he's saying, because most of the things that Trump says, he ends up doing, man. They sound crazy, man. And I think a lot of them are. But the bottom line is he does it, you know. And this time he'll will. He knows how to whale power. And this time he'll really whale power, man. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Because he has the experience now. So That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, So you well, and I, I and everyone in the real estate business, we do need lower rates. That's that's the reality. Like when I saw your call coming in, because you know what I feel too, Jose, right? And folks, I think there's one more leg down in in the real estate business. I think we're it's just like, you know, the market when, you know, they say, okay, the S&P is coming in to the lows here, okay? I think there's one more leg down. And, the, and if I'm correct, the last leg down is always the worst leg. You know, like everyone you, starts writing. When you say leg down, are you referring to price destruction? Yes. Oh, oh. I know. Are we I talking listen. 5%, 10%? 10%. Yeah. Wow, really? No, I don't like. I'm <laughs> like saying it myself. I'm sitting there like, oh my God, I don't believe it. But yeah, I'm, you got to face reality. Well, well, Miss Yellen says she has a plan to solve the glutton. Uh, there's a ton of homes, uh, inventory is climbing, foreclosures are climbing. She has a plan to get home prices down. Uh, don't know what it is, but um, well, that's not good to hear that uh, a 10 percent correction possibly coming. It's because these prices aren't real. The, the the homes are not moving because people have, you know, mortgages at 4%, right? And so they're not putting them on. It's frozen. I've talked about this before. When you get a frozen market, that's not a real market. A frozen market means that the prices are too high. And, you know, then when you start doing the math at, you know, 7.1 7 times X, whatever, you know, the, the price is going to be, Every single time you do that number, man, you can't cash flow, you know? So most of the time yeah. when you get a correction, you are going to go below the price of what the building would cost to build, and you're going to get in a good positive cash flow, you know? And there's still plenty of places that are for sale that don't cash flow, man. And they're dreaming. They're, they're absolutely dreaming. And I think what, what we also are facing is that there's plenty of folks that – even though 2007 is not that long ago, there was there's plenty of younger people that haven't seen something like this. So, what do we get? Seven, ten, fourteen? Yeah, that's that's almost 20 years. That uh, well, no, 17 years, right? That you know you've only been going up. So let's picture that you and I were like 25, right? Let's say we're 24, 34. That'd be 41. Imagine if if we if we ran Jose from you know the 25 to 41. We think we're King Kong, right? You know, it's, what do you mean a correction? <laughs> what do you mean? You're not going to make money. You know, that's just how it goes until you've seen, you know, corrections come in and then how nasty they can get, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm at Walmart buying a, a new flat panel TV. I threw my shoe through the TV last night uh, watching <laughs> Biden. So I, I got to buy a new TV. The good news is that they're inexpensive. And you'll have a blast. Cooking, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great weekend, man. Lot, man. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow uh, down 79, NASDAQ off 85, S&P's down uh, 18. Now, even if we look, watch this, folks. This is late anyway. So, But bottom line is that when you look at this arms, right, you know, we're at 1.04. So that is saying, just as we saw, that, you know, they were buying the bounce at the bottom. And if that, if that was a blown-out number, that would be a much better situation that you would get a higher market. But what's happened is that as we're going down, the bottom line is that people kept trying to buy, 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 you know, to hit that bottom. And, you know, some people did, of course, because the S&P just, you know, and the NASDAQ, I mean, we just went from uh, 5512, I mean, yeah, 5510 to 55. It was higher than 5530. I think it was 55. Let me just see. But this is the type of market that we're in right now that was that 55. Yeah, 5536. Okay, so we went from five. Yeah, it's 26 points. But that that is my, my take is that this is the beginning of a correction. It's going to be choppy and volatile beyond belief. Because if you do trade the futures a lot, you're going to see when you're getting these corrections, the S&P loves moving in 10 and 15, 15 handles at a time. And that's what we got. That's, that's the information that you want to try to gleam out of the market. When you start trading like that, when, you start, when the market starts moving like that, 
that is normally when you are getting much larger corrections. Because what happens on those bounces, normally what, what, what the computers will do and what heavy traders will do is that when you get a bounce going like that, they'll spike it. And when they're spiking it, they're actually selling into it. They're, what they're trying to do is the computers are trying to boom, 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 we'll get it. Spike, 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 sell, 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 sell. So as they're, as they're buying, they're selling the bottom line. <clears throat> always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m., folks. Real! Look at him, folks.